Leah Tortilla presents. Hey guys, it's me, Leah Tortilla. I have just finished a session at the gym, so I will be showing you my post-workout lunch. And that, my friends, will be baked eggs. And not just your old run-of-the-mill, boring old baked eggs. Baked eggs, but a little bit nice. So, to be precise, I'm making baked eggs in a herby, rich tomato sauce with roasted butternut squash and spinach. To get us started, we're going to be roasting our butternut squash. That is my favourite shade of orange. Just look how pure it is. So, to prepare our butternut squash, we're going to cut the top from the bottom, which I've already done here, like so. Then, we're going to cut the top in half and we're going to peel off the skin but first let's cut the bottom in half as well and remove the seeds with the spoon so you want to get your spoon right in there and scoop all of them out Now, to peel the butternut squash, you're going to want to use a speed peeler. You can do it with a knife, but this is the safer, more effective way of preserving the flesh. So once you've peeled your butternut squash, we're going to Chop them into squares or little chunks. Just about that size will do. And then you want to place these onto a roasting tray. Spread them out nice and evenly. Then we're going to drizzle these with a teaspoon of oil, that's all you need, and a teaspoon of dried sage. We add our mandatory seasoning, so salt and pepper, and you just give that a good shuffle around, make sure it's all covered in the oil. Pop these in the oven at 180 degrees for around 25 to 30 minutes or until it's soft and you can squeeze it and it squishes. So while our butternut squash is roasting, we're going to start with our tomato sauce. So we need a drop of oil in the pan, one large diced red onion, Three roughly chopped cloves of garlic. And you want to sweat that down until it becomes translucent in colour. Then we're going to add paprika. salt and pepper in here I now have tomato puree and chopped tin tomatoes Now going to add a splash of red wine, a capful of white wine vinegar, a generous squeeze of honey, Worcester sauce, 
Now, if you're a vegetarian, you probably already know that Worcester sauce has anchovies in it. So you might want to find a Worcester sauce that um, is vegetarian friendly, or you can just not put it in there at all. Because this is meant to be a vegetarian dish, but um, it depends on how strict you are vegetarian wise, whether or not you use Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcester, Worcester sauce. That's the one. Got there eventually. We want a splash of soy sauce. And we're going to let this bubble and reduce for a bit. Is it just a little bit more herby? You can add just a tiny little bit of sage in there. Once the sauce is thickened and reduced and we've cooked the red wine out of it, it's time to take it off the heat and blend it till smooth. With the sauce, if you don't have a blender, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to blend it. I just prefer the consistency of the sauce when it's smoother. Um, but if you are not going to use a blender and you're not, you're not going to blend it, then I would finely chop all of the ingredients rather than, you know, roughly chopping it and chucking it in. So this sauce is really great for anything. You could put it with a pasta if you wanted or even have it with rice. Um, and if you're not a vegetarian, you can always add bacon to this dish or ham or chicken. Um, it's up to you really, just get experimental with it. This is just a, a guideline really. By this time, your butternut squash should be fully roasted. So we're going to spoon it into our oven safe dishes. Just like that. You can use as little or as much as you like, save some for tomorrow. You know, whatever you like. And then to our butternut squash, we're going to add a handful of raw spinach. Once again, you can have as little or as much as you like of this. You know, spinach wilts down to practically nothing anyway. And then we spoon over our sauce. You know, be generous with this, depending on the depth of your dish, of course. Or dishes. You need to make sure it's kind of flat. And we're going to crack two eggs onto the top. remove any shells. Then we're gonna place each of our dishes onto a baking tray. And we're gonna put them in the oven for about 20 minutes until, or until the egg is cooked completely. Now, I put this dish on the specials at work so I could practice it this week so that I was prepared to film it for you guys. And I have been serving it with garlic bread. The garlic bread just really mops up all the sauce and it just it just ties the whole dish together but i'm trying to be low carb so i will not be having garlic bread with this dish this afternoon now while i'm waiting for my eggs to bake i'm just going to do my normal thing and remind you guys to give this video a like a share leave a comment if you like what i do subscribe to my channel and all of the lists of ingredients are in the description below go Baked eggs, fresh out the oven. Oh, great, we just put a little bit of pepper over the top and a pinch of chilli flakes. If I had some chopped parsley, I would put that on top as well, but I don't, so this will have to do. There we have another delicious recipe straight from Leah Tortilla. I hope you bleh, bleh, bleh. I hope you enjoyed my very special vegetarian dish. Have a good week. I'll see you next time.